Hello, it's Mark Matorch here from Markham 3D, and today we're just going to be talking about the Curve Array modifier and how to just get that set up and working. If you like these short videos, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with my content. So let's start off by deleting the default cube. Shift A, I'm just going to add in a mesh and I'm just going to quickly make something. And so this is what we got. It's kind of like, um, almost like a pinball groove type thing. Now I've left the origin right here in the center. From here, I'm gonna go Shift A, add in a curve, a Bezier curve. And we can see that it's down there. I'm just gonna press Tab to go into edit mode. Numpad seven, just to make it straight. Rotate 90 degrees, minus. I just kind of want a straight line. Rotate 45 degrees. And let's kind of just move it around just to make something funky, just really quick blah, 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 blah. And I'm just going to dip that down. So this is our curve. Now I've left the origin at zero, zero, but this can be moved. I'm just going to select our, our cylinders. Let's come over into modifiers. The first thing I'm going to do is add in an array modifier, fixed count. We're going to change that to curve and let's come at into there and as you can see that the array is going this way that's not the right way what we want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this from going along the x-axis to the y-axis so now we've got it protruding all the way out add modifier let's put in that curve deform select our bezier and that's gone a little bit haywire but we can go deformation along the y-axis and there we go <laughs> that's looking a little bit crazy because of the curve so um, let's come down into our curve i'm just going to select that and let's just move that out of the way Let's just rotate this around. And there we go. You can kind of see that it now follows the curve. And so that's a very brief overview on how to use the array and the curve modifiers together.